Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a virtual environment in Thunny IDE. I created a video a couple of months ago on what Thunny is and what I, what I, why I think it's the best IDE for those who have just started to learn Python. Now I published this article on my website how to set up a virtual environment in Thunny. You can take a look, there is a step-by-step -step approach there. So if you like reading more than watching a video, then that's for you. Now, but why do we need a virtual environment and what is a virtual environment? Well, so a virtual environment is a self-contained directory that contains a Python interpreter, its standard library, and some project-specific packages. So what does it mean? Let's say you install Flask on your machine uh, for developing a website or blog. Then you create a... Um, the first project with Flask version 2, because that was the version you installed it, it works fine. But then you're following another tutorial, and that tutorial uses Flask version 3. So you, you realize it doesn't work because you have access to the global uh, package, the, the package that you installed on your machine. So you might want to upgrade this, but then it will have conflicts uh, with this one because this was version 2 and now you use version 3. So in order to avoid these kind of uh, conflicts, what you will do is you want to have a virtual environments, these environments where Flask version 2 can be contained in this one only, it will not affect your other project in another directory. So in other project you can have Flask on version 3 or whatever it is that you use. So this is what a virtual environment is. Now let's create one using Thony. So I've just opened up Thunny IDE and the first thing is down below uh, right corner you can see here I have a list of my uh, environments. One is Thunny's Python and another virtual environment that I have. So what I can do I can either click on configure interpreter here or I can go to tools then options here and click on it and then choose the interpreter option here and you can choose local python whatever version you want and then down below there's a link new virtual environment so when i click on this link it tells me that i need to choose an empty directory for that virtual environment nothing should be in there i say okay and i want to choose this directory i just call it funny myself you can call it whatever you want but it's empty when i select it it starts to create that virtual environment. It's going to take a couple of seconds, and now it's done. So if I press OK, see what happens to the bottom right corner. OK, and now you see this is active now already. So I have another virtual environment added, and you can see that it's checked. So this one is active now. Now whatever I install, whatever packages I install, now will be installed in this directory that is uh, Thunny. So let's see how it works. I can go to uh, Tools and choose Open System Shell. And I get this shell. And here you can see it might be a different uh, path for you. You can either uh, go there to whatever folder you want to. It doesn't matter that much because whatever you install would be installed in this uh, virtual environment. So I can choose to go to, for example, D drive. And then I would CD, change directory into uh, Thony and just like that and now i want to use pip uh, to install those packages so pip install i can use flask and i can choose also the version of flask that i want but i would just say flask and press enter and now it gets downloaded onto this in, uh, environment now if you want to check the a list of uh, packages in this environment you can simply write in pip then space and list and now you can see i have several they've been mostly added by flask so blinker click colorama flask it's dangerous ginger these are all what flask have downloaded for me as well by default you would just have pip and setup tools and now i also have these thanks to uh, flask adding these packages as well okay so that was it uh, for today thank you very much for watching and listening